Hello and welcome to my new fresh SQL Server Quickie. In today's SQL Server Quickie, I will talk about bookmark lookups in SQL Server, which can be sometimes quite dangerous. A bookmark lookup is a pattern in an execution plan that is chosen by the query optimizer when a non clustered index is accessed that doesn't contain all the requested columns. Imagine that you have a work clause on the column city and in the select list you retrieve the additional columns first name and last name from your customer's table. If you have only added the city column to the non-clustered index and the query optimizer chooses that index in the execution plan, then the query optimizer also has to introduce a bookmark lookup in the query plan to retrieve the additional requested columns first name and last name. I have also already talked in the 14th SQL Server Quickie about the so-called tipping point, where the query optimizer makes the decision about whether a bookmark lookup or a complete scan of your table is performed. Let's switch now over to the flipchart where I will describe the behavior of a bookmark lookup in more detail to you. I want to show you now on the flip chart how SQL Server makes a bookmark lookup in the execution plan. Imagine we have a very simple query. We want to retrieve from our customers table all our customers where the city equals to Seattle and from that table we want to retrieve the first name and last name. Imagine now we have defined a non-clustered index on the column city. In that case, the query optimizer generates an execution plan with a non-clustered index seek on that specific index. The problem that we have now, that by default, the first name and last name column is not part of that non-clustered index. And for that reason, SQL Server introduces the bookmark lookup operator in the execution plan. So below the non-clustered index seek operator, we have a lookup operator, and both operators are joined together through a nested loop operator. Every time when you see a lookup operator in the execution plan, clustered key lookup or row identifier lookup on a heap table, you will also see a non-class you will also see a nested loop operator in the query plan. Imagine now we are getting back, let's say, three customers from Seattle. This also means that the query optimizer, or in our case SQL Server, has to do the lookup three times. For every record that we are getting back from the outer non-clustered index seek. Therefore, I've also already talked in a previous SQL Server quickie about the tipping point where the query optimizer just discards that execution plan because the query costs are just too much regarding the logic we reads and in that reason and in that case the query dips over and SQL Server scans your whole table for a table scan or clustered index scan operator. So it mainly depends on the selectivity of your query if SQL Server chooses a bookmark lookup or a complete scan of your underlying table. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I will demonstrate you the concept of the bookmark lookup in more detail. For the demonstration of bookmark lookups, I'm using the AdventureWorks 2012 database. The next step, I'm running a simple query that restricts on the column state province ID in the work clause. In addition, the query requests in the select clause the column's address ID and postal code. When we have a look at the execution plan, we can see that the query optimizer has chosen a bookmark lookup. The column state province ID is indexed through a non-clustered index and therefore the query optimizer has chosen a seek operation on that index. The column address ID is the clustered key on that table that is always part of the non-clustered index in the leaf level as a logical pointer to our records in the clustered index. 
This means that the remaining column Bustle code in this situation is not part of the non-clustered index. Therefore, a SQL Server has to perform the bookmark lookup for every returned row from the non-clustered index on the clustered table itself. When we look at the key lookup clustered operator, we can see that the number of executions is 8 and that SQL Server returns the column Bustle code from this lookup operator. When we look at the output of Statistics I.O., we can see that the whole query needs 18 logical reads. We need two logical reads to perform the seek operation in the non-clustered index and the bookmark lookup also costs us two logical reads for every returned record. In our case, we need 16 logical reads. The more records the query returns, the more logical reads we need. Therefore, SQL Server implements the concept of the tipping point, which I have already covered in my 14th SQL Server Quickie. To get rid of that bookmark lookup, we can create a covering non-clustered index that is specific to that query. In our case, we have to include the column Bustle code in the leaf level of the non-clustered index. This, of course, improves the read performance of this specific query, but on the other hand, it will also decrease the write performance of other queries because we now store the column Bustle code in two places, once in the clustered index and once in the non-clustered index. That's the double-edged sword of indexing. When we afterwards rerun the query again, we can see that the query optimizer has chosen a completely different execution plan. Now we only perform a C operation on the previous created non-clustered index. There is no longer any need to perform a bookmark lookup because every column that we have referenced in our query is now part of the chosen non-clustered index. When we look again at the output of Statistics I.O., we can see that the query now needs only two logical reads. That's a huge difference from the 18 logical reads that we needed previously for the same query. In this SQL Server Quickie, I have introduced bookmark lookups to you. As you have seen, bookmark lookups are a very powerful concept in SQL Server because even a non-covering, non-clustered index can be used in an execution plan. The downside of bookmark lookups are the additional logical reads introduced by the lookup itself and the overhead caused by the nested loop operator. In addition, Bookmark lookups can also have other negative side effects such as bookmark lookup deadlocks that I have already covered in my fifth SQL Server Quickie. But mostly people introduce huge performance problems when a query plan with a bookmark lookup gets cached in the plan cache and afterwards reused with a non-selective results. Your IO and CPU costs will just explode in that case. Therefore it's very important if you will hit such an edge case with a bookmark lookup. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to welcome you in my next SQL Server Quickie where I will talk about the Halloween problem in SQL Server. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.